Now we're going to look at what happens if the dimensions are changed by different factors. And I'm primarily going to focus on the area. All right. So here you can see my original shapes that we had before. Our areas are no different. This is still 6 inches squared. This is still 10 inches squared. And this one, oh, that's a new shape. Area equals base times height. The base is 8. The height is 5. So I can say that's 40 meters squared. All right. There's a reason I don't have a circle here. All right. So um, I'm changing different factors in the vertically and horizontally. That's part of the reason I don't have a circle. If I change the radius, it automatically does the vertical and the horizontal. So for this first one, I'm going to double the height and triple the base. So double the height, 2 times 3 equals 6. Triple the base, 3, there's my factor, 3 times 4 equals 12. All right. Here I'm going to quadruple, that means times 4, the base. 4 times 5 is 20. All right. And height is unchanged. That's a 1 factor. Because multiplying by 1 is the identity property, and it means that it stays the same. Okay, I'm going to double the height. 2 times 5 is 10. And I'm going to have the base. The best way to think of that is 1 half times 8, which is 4. Half of 8 is 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate our areas just like we did before. 6, 1 half base times height, 1 half, 6 times 12. So I'm going to get 36. Here it's going to be base times height, 20 times 2. So I'm going to get 40 inches squared. All right. Here it's going to be base times height. So the base is 4 meters and the height is 10 meters. And I'm going to get 40 meters squared. How did the areas change? This one, 30, from going from 6 to 36, that's 6 times bigger. All right. Uh, going from 10 to 40, that's 4 times bigger. Going from 40 to 40, that's the same. That's 1 times bigger. Okay. Where are these numbers coming from? This uh, doesn't seem to make as much sense. How the heck did I get 1? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these factors here. I'm going to put the 2 and the 3 here. Now we've got to figure out to put that 2 and 3 and make it 6. All right. Here, quadruple the base, that's a factor of 4. Height is unchanged, that's a factor of 1. Hmm, I need to do something with these two factors to get a 4 from 4 and 1. I need to do something with these two factors to get a 6 from 2 and 3. Then finally, I have, this is the uh, 2, and that factor is a half. How can I put 2 and a half together to get 1? Well, hopefully you notice that if I multiplied each of these factors together, that gave me the impact on area. All right? Now, if I were to do this for perimeter, it's not so simple because this piece here changes a little bit from this and a little bit from that, and it's very hard to predict what's going to happen. So perimeter, for perimeter problems, you have to work it out. All right? This does not work for perimeter. Perimeter. You have to work it out, all right, when you have different factors, okay? But for area, hopefully you're noticing, if I take the product of the two factors and multiply that by the old area, that gives me the new area. So here we have a width of a parallelogram is multiplied by 5, and the height is doubled. So that's a factor of 2, and that's a factor of 5. So what is the effect on area? Well, your new area is going to be 5 times 2 times your old area, or 10 times your old area. It's 10 times bigger. All right? Now, here we come up to just an odd question. 
what is the effect of, if I triple the radius of an octagon, do you think it's just tripled? Or do you think it actually is a different factor? Well, octagons are a lot like circles. And any of the regular polygons behave that way. The angles all have to stay the same shape. So if I do a little octagon, pretend I can draw one. It's easier for me to draw hexagons. But here's my little octagon, and there's my radius. Then I make a bigger one where it's three times bigger, right? And pretend I can draw that. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, believe it or not, the effect is not three. There are more than three of these in here, and I didn't even think I really, I have more than what, doubled it really. What happens is that everything grows the same way vertically and horizontally. So it's not tripled, it's times three squared or times nine. So it's a scale factor. This is like a scale factor. So it changes all dimensions, really both dimensions. It's like a scale factor. So this is not different factors when you change a regular polygon or a circle. Those are actually the easier problems, like the first two pages of our notes. So finally, uh, we just answered the last question here. Do you think changing the radius of a regular polygon will change only one dimension or all? I'd say it changes both. Really, we're talking area and two-dimensional objects, so we're only going up to two. It is all. All right, and then finally, you should go ahead and write a summary of what you learned from these three pages of notes, and hopefully you won't have too much trouble predicting the effect of dimensional change on area and perimeter.